thanks for watching our next video and uh, like always we try to show you some nice interesting things that you can apply in uh, your restoration and today we talk about some uh, subject that been kind of empty still just nobody did any research they try to talk about uh, this subject but uh, it's no application generally it's very important in uh, our uh, business we talk about inertia uh, this fundamental thing about uh, inertia is still unknown we know one thing that when the matter moving and changing direction or the speed they create some forces and uh, they can be calculated of course sometimes it's very complicated but anyway in the piano industry on the piano action it's a lot of motion a high motion these particles change the speed on the opposite very fast and we create it's create a lot of forces that works against your motion and uh, sometimes it's uh, the keys overweighted and the parts heavy that create a lot of a lot of uh, inertia or just forces it works against you in order to understand to what degree uh, it has to be just like uh, calculated or accepted uh, we need to go to some extreme things and one of them is overweighted keys and i just specially for you prepare one key it's a monster key we call it monster key as you see it's got a very heavy just like left part it's a piece of brass and a lot of weights but the way it's the key weighted if i put it on the balance rail right that is exactly 50 grams down weight as you see it's a 50 grams right down weight what it means it means that if you slow move uh, move this key it's a very comfortable actually i have to admit it's a very comfortable to move it but if we start to move it fast right away you feel that it works against you it means you not be able to play this uh, action with the keys like this because it's uh, going to create a very very strong force it's an uh, inertia that works against you and uh, of course uh, we uh, we can deal with this as one direction to make the keys lighter right and uh, we are lucky that we have an uh, example that uh, we can go and show you uh, what we're going to do with this action. Yeah, what the, the, uh, the client told us that it's impossible to play this piano. And of course, when I try it, I realize that it's really, it's really just heavy. And as you see, the keys even not stopping. They just like still continue to move it. You see, it's just like beside this it's a it's a very heavy touch uh, and i just just only push it down but if i start to move it right away it goes a lot of force and uh, uh, of course uh, uh, what it has to be done you know, somehow we have to uh, uh, take the weight from the keys because uh, we know that the keys were uh, um, weighted and the factory did it according to the weight of the hammer heads and the geometry uh, that's what we're gonna do uh, let's take this stack out and see what's actually inside the keys yeah, i take this stack out we put it back on the table and uh, let's see okay once we get to the keys uh, what we notice, the first of all, you can see that somebody worked it uh, already here, right? They just, uh, looks like they moved the capstans. They want to change geometry on this piano, right? And uh, another thing, when we uh, take the keys, of course, it's uh, definitely s uh, scary. It looks how many weights. And what we notice that before, even before somebody took uh, two weights already, try to uh, just diminish this inertia, uh, decrease the weight of the keys. And uh, uh, that's interesting that uh, it's still, it's still not working properly. 
That's why what we have to do, we have to use some uh, options. And uh, uh, it's not so many of them. But one of them, of course, uh, what the guy did it here on the capstans. The only thing uh, that we have to consider uh, which way to move the capstan, right? And of course you can gamble uh, and move it uh, any direction and you got a 50% to be lucky. But uh, it's better to calculate and find out what it uh, makes a difference when you move the capstan. And as you see, uh, let's say if you, if we consider that the empty holes that been uh, originally, right? It's a factory, and the technician moved them uh, uh, towards the end of the case. Uh, looks like it's a wrong decision to do. And uh, let's figure out it why it's a wrong decision. Uh, I made a I made a model, especially to show you uh, what's gonna happen. As we know already what's uh, going on in our uh, case and the action, uh, we already got the idea of what's happened uh, with the technician who worked before us. He tried, of course, to achieve the goal, but definitely he was not able to do it because he used the old parts. Uh, he was not able to move the capstan uh, because this is a limited position of the, uh, his uh, weapon and uh, uh, it has to be done differently. And uh, uh, of course, uh, like I told before, you have to uh, find out which way you have to go and uh, how to work it uh, with this. Uh, I can tell you if you move it uh, closer to rotation point, it's gonna increase the force uh, out, uh, decrease it, but it's all the speculation. It means you cannot uh, accept it unless you see the experiment that it shows you how it works. Like most of the articles, they talk about this, they just telling you how it works, but not giving you uh, actually presentation. Uh, that's why I built this uh, uh, model for you to understand it. Uh, here is the Arena uh, USA parts, and uh, you see they got a knuckle that can be moved forward or backwards. And let's see what's happened uh, with the force uh, that uh, goes down uh, with all these parts. Uh, when we move it closer to rotating port, uh, point or out, of course I just uh, prefer to make as uh, less friction as possible and just even lubricate this portion of our uh, heel because the friction is involved in all this calculation. That's why if we decrease them, it's going to be the best way. The first one, we uh, position our knuckle closer to the rotating point, like this. Like that. Okay, we got a zero. We pu put our capstan here, and we just land it here. And we can calculate, let's say, 33, 32, 33 and a half, some uh, grams, right? And the reason why it's not stable, because the friction is uh, different. Let's say even if I, you see, it's now it's uh, jumped to 33 and a half. If I do it the second time, I am release it, and they put it back. You see, it shows 35 grams, something like this. Uh, that's the nature of the complex of this. Uh, uh, process. Let's say I move now my heel closer to rotating point. And of course we have to move our capstan to like here. And you see it's just jumped to 38 grams, let's say make this second, second test, like this. It's again, you see it's moved to uh, 38 grams. It's obviously, you can see it, that if we 
if we move our capstan closer to rotating point, we have to load more here to get uh, uh, to get uh, the same uh, numbers. But anyway, uh, we're going to move our capstans out of uh, the rotation point and we can uh, just uh, achieve our goal. Beside this, uh, the ratio on the keys changed too. And uh, uh, that looks like it's a very uh, just simple thing to do. But uh, you have to actually perform it. You have to do it precisely because all the parts, they line up really just precision. That's why you have to do a really good job using your tools, uh, drill beats. Everything has to be nice because, as you see, it's a very expensive piano. It has to be done professionally. And, uh, of course, uh, before, before uh, we did it, of course, we deal with the hammerheads with the hammerheads that uh, uh, came up almost one gram lighter than the original ones. Like if you, uh, let's say, we show you, I think, last time, the original hammerheads, uh, I think they are yeah, somewhere uh, else. they just much heavier than the hammerheads that we put uh, uh, on this section. And uh, uh, when we did it, uh, we achieved the tremendous goal. I was able to decrease the weight of the keys almost uh, 50 gram less. And once I did uh, uh, achieve this goal, uh, now you can see this uh, already, you see this um, keys with a new uh, action, Renner parts, and as you see, and now, now, if I move the keys, you see, they go steady right away. Right away they stop. It means no more bouncing. Uh, it means it's a very comfortable touch. You can play hours and hours on this piano. Uh, that's how it has to be done. And uh, uh, we hope that it's help you if you encounter something like this, mostly on the concert grand. And if the customer just really asking you to do this, you be able to do it. Just like we did it, replace the parts, get a lighter hammerheads, change a, a little bit geometry, and uh, most importantly for our, our job is to make our customer satisfied. Uh, I hope it's gonna be just uh, done really uh, good and we uh, just like going to enjoy our job and uh, our customers enjoy it too. Thanks a lot.